A feature in every hotel, tattooed in vibrant illustrations, countless paintings and prints, stitched on clothing and tapestries, and displayed for good luck. The koi fish is the common carp that's not so common. Since the early 1800s when koi color breeding developed in Japan, the varieties and categories of koi have multiplied rapidly. And the presence of the carp in aquaculture, history, and folklore was solidified. Here in Hawaii, the domesticated koi is not only an ornamental symbol of love and friendship, but living, breathing, swimming art. The koi is originally from a tropical environment. And uh, for us to raise koi, we have to have a good water and we have to have um, good water temperature. And in Hawaii, we have both. The water quality is great and uh, the, the climate is very consistent throughout the year. You can enjoy koi anywhere in the world, I believe. But here in Hawaii, you can enjoy koi every single day. It's very rare. I think there are many reasons why people collect koi. They are really a living jewels. Not only they are pets, but also they are the, the arts, the beauty jewels. So they can not only enjoy them as a pet, but also enjoy them as an art. The cultivation of koi has itself become a form of art, where breeders from around the world strive to balance a supreme body composition with unmatched pattern, scalation, and color quality. In koi, uh, there are 80 to 100 uh, different varieties. It really depends on how you categorize them, but it's really amazing that, you know, several hundred years ago, it was just a black food cart. And what happened is just by mutation, uh, different colors appeared and breeders thought it interesting. They started crossing the bloods, colors, and now we got 80 to 100 varieties. The value of the koi really depends on the size and the beauty. The bigger the better, the more beautiful, the more valuable. So uh, that's how we try to uh, decide the value of it. Basically body conformation, quality, and pattern. We look at the body for it has to be a good body because koi is not a still picture. It's, it's swimming, it's moving. So it has to have a good body conformation to show off the beauty. Without a good body conformation, no matter how good the pattern is, it doesn't really show off. So, and the, the quality, the skin quality, the color quality, it's very important. And then the pattern, again, it's, it's really attracting part of the core. To champion breeders, they are a form of precise expression and even science. But to most of us, they are simply a hypnotic display of nature's infinite allure. With its strong ties to the Japanese culture and with an unmistakable grace, serenity, and beauty that surround these remarkable creatures, it's no wonder that the Hawaiian archipelago has embraced this living art form. <laughs> 